I am back. I kind of screwed up the, the um, what was supposed to be part two. So this is now part two of our exploration of megalithic Waitara in the highlands of Peru. So I checked the orientation of the building. It is 23 degrees off of north, south, east, and west. And that indicates to me that this megalithic building was created prior to the end of the last ice age. And my theory is that the axis of the earth changed at the end of the last ice age, making it what we now have as true north, south, east, and west. And at the time of the construction of this building, uh, um, would have been north, south, east, and west, and now it's some 23 degrees off. That indicates extreme antiquity. Megalithic Waitara. For those that didn't see part one, I'll go back to this corner and show you that the joinery is technically close to perfect. No mortar in the joins, stone on stone. Each stone is a different shape and size. So megalithic Waitara inland from uh, Paracas, Peru. The classic Inca trapezoid design inherited by the Inca from the older megalithic builders. There you see the church built on top and the very big lintels weighing several hundred, actually in the tonnage, probably in the nature of five tons for that one or maybe tons. You see the heat damage? Live from Peru. So when we go to the corner, for those who didn't see part one, we're going to see extreme heat damage done to the corner and to the western side of the building. Original door filled in with uh, adobe mud from the uh, colonial Spanish times. There you have the extreme heat damage. It's mainly on this corner. The farther we go this way, the less there is.
classic Inca <clears throat> trapezoid design. Probably pragmatic in terms of making sure that all the force doesn't come straight down on the building, but flares out lower down. And yes, the stones have a bulge. They're not straight, flat surfaces, but each one has a bulge. And to me, that indicates that the stone was made temporarily soft, almost like a marshmallow consistency. As we go up close to it, here you can see that each stone has that bulge. Not exactly the same, so unlikely carved that way, but the result of it being marshmallow-like temporarily, and then when it re-hardened, it created that bulge. That's why each one fits perfectly together like that. Again, no sign of any mortar, it's perfect stone on stone contact. The quarry is 50 miles away. Some think this is geopolymer. I don't agree. I think it was done with capabilities way beyond what we have. Now the steps are either Inca or colonial Spanish. They fit together very roughly as compared to the surface itself. Very high tech tools of some kind. Thank you for watching. Huaytara, Huaytara in the highlands of Peru.